The Western Kentucky Distilling Company celebrating its grand opening tonight in Beaver Dam. Eyewitness News to Sherry McBroom went on a tour of that new facility. Here's here now to give us a look inside. To Sherry? Yeah, that's right, guys. The Western Kentucky Distilling Company popped open a few bottles of bourbon and celebrated as this is the first distilling company in Ohio County since Prohibition. Over 100 people gathered at the Western Kentucky Distilling Company in Ohio County, celebrating the grand opening of its new $30 million state-of-the-art distillery in Beaver Dam. Though the distillery is not yet open to the public, it did offer the opportunity for family and friends, including Eyewitness News, to get a first-hand look of the new 100% Kentucky-owned distillery. Well, for us, it's really important uh, to really dig into that Kentucky-owned uh, piece of it. You know, we buy all local Kentucky corn. All of our equipment came from Kentucky. Um, so for us, you know, ownership's all from Kentucky, and we're just proud of Kentucky and want to make great bourbon whiskey for the state. The distillery company has been working with local officials as well as it's expected to boost tourism. So people come to us for bluegrass, but people come to Kentucky for the bourbon. And uh, so having them in our community now is just going to add to the tourism experience here. And these guys are so special. They have a heart for the bourbon and for what they do. Western Kentucky Distilling is fully operational and will be open to the public by next year, making around 165 barrels of bourbon per day. That's just about 10,000 gallons. Yeah, we're actually producing 50,000 barrels of bourbon a year. So right now, uh, we're the second largest 100% Kentucky-owned distillery. And uh, we hope that uh, one day next year, we'll be open to the public. Uh, right now, we're still a, a private uh, distillery. But uh, we're making a lot of bourbon and rye whiskey for a lot of, uh, a lot of brands and a lot of uh, customers. Fleener believes the distilling company will be very impactful to the community. We just took the tour, and amazingly enough, they're already talking about expansion. And they're going to be making staves here, which is which is another good source of employment for a lot of our local people. And uh, it, it will help. It will help the economic impact with the tours and just the employment is really going to help. And this new distilling company will have the capacity to store 250,000 barrels per year. That's a lot of bourbon, guys.